Welcome to Silicon Valley Asian Business Talk. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Roger Chen from University of San Francisco Center for Business Studies and Innovation in Asia Pacific. Today, uh, I want to first thank the Chinese Entrepreneur Organization for hosting this interview at this very unique venue, which is the founding place of Facebook. Second, uh, it's our honor to welcome Da Weifeng from Intel to join our interview program. Da Wei, could you please briefly introduce yourself? Yeah, for sure. Hey, Roger. Hey, everyone. Thank you for having me. Super excited to be here. Uh, as Roger introduced briefly, I work for Intel. I manage all the client segment marketing team uh, at Intel outside of the work. Uh, I have been pretty active in uh, mentoring um, Chinese in the Bay Area uh, from a um, career perspective, as well as uh, advising a few of the startups. Thank you. How and where to detect early market trend and or opportunities? What's your comment or observation about changing internally mm -hmm. to adapt to the new market, new technology, new trend? What, what's your comment or observation on that? Yeah. Um, I wish I know there's a good recipe to manage this. I think uh, uh, the, the biggest challenge is inertia. If the corporation is going well, it's sizable in, in business and PNL and customer engagement, um, it's very easy to be carried forward mm -hmm. because of the past momentum and the inertia. Mm -hmm. uh, so when it's successful, people say, why do you want to change that success? Right. And and uh, um, also, to quote uh, uh, Henry Ford, the quote, if you ask customers what they want, they, they want uh, faster horses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so uh, how do you avoid falling in the trap of, oh, the customers just told us they want uh, faster horses. That's what we're making. And then... Ford came in with Model T, wiped the, <laughs> wiped the slate clean, right? Uh, but the customers told us, so are they wrong or am I wrong? Actually, both are wrong, right? That's the that's the piece I call, yeah, we may have asked the wrong question. Instead, we should have asked, what's the result customer you want to accomplish? Yeah, you yeah, want yeah. a faster, more efficient way of getting from point A to point B. That brings you out of the narrow framing of faster horses and to go, go look into uh, potential disruptive new technologies to make point A to point B way easier, faster, more efficient, right? So again, it's so easier, so much easier said than done in doing this. Um, so how do we know that we're being carried forward by inertia versus being um, vigilant in detecting a potential pivotal moment that's, com that's coming up. Uh, I think that's personally, I view that's more art than science, uh, but there are a lot of uh, tea leaves we can, uh, uh, we can read. And uh, in, uh, in, 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 uh, in the book, I mentioned uh, Andy Grove wrote uh, "Only Paranoia Survive." I think uh, he, he had uh, some sound advices. Uh, he mentioned always stay connected to two groups of people who are always the first to detect when some changes are happening. May or may not be the so-called inflection point, mm -hmm. but they are the early detectors of potential changes. One is our salespeople. Sales. They are yeah, very close front line, mm -hmm. talking with all kinds of customers, partners, ex external uh, people. Mm -hmm. So uh, they sense some of the new uh, directions a little bit faster than other people. Internally, he called, um, talk with their middle level managers. Middle uh, level. So mm -hmm. they're not so deep into the weeds, but they're not so removed from every day. Operation. So they're integrating a lot of information from your frontline uh, uh, workers, quote, so to speak. So they have a real good uh, 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 
front row seat to detect when some new signals are happening that may or may, may not become uh, a new inflection point. So um, I, I've been thinking a lot about that. I read, read a book quite a few years ago. I've been thinking a lot about this two group of people, uh, incl in, including myself, used to be the frontline sales person myself. I can see a lot of uh, validity. Thank you for watching.